Hello everyone, my name is Steven and I am a first year dental student. Today I want to talk about something that has been really important to me and that is the image occlusion add-on to Anki. This add-on has been pretty much single-handedly getting me through my second semester gross anatomy course in dental school. And today I'm gonna to tell you how I like to use it. If you're absolutely brand new to Anki, this is probably not the tutorial for you, but if you have somewhat of a knowledge, whether it's limited or pretty substantial, you're gonna be able to use this tutorial to start making good image occlusion cards for really any course. So let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and get into it. So after opening Anki here, the first thing that I wanna actually show you is adding this add-on to your Anki. Essentially an add-on is a tool that you can download from the internet to make your Anki better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to tools up here at the top, hit add-ons, and then you'll see the add-ons that I've already added. We'll hit get add-ons, browse add-ons. That's gonna take us to the internet. I'm gonna hit command F to pull up a search bar and you'll see here, I've already done this, so image occlusion, and this is what we're wanting right here. So image occlusion enhanced for Anki 2.1 alpha. Click on that. We're gonna scroll down here. This is just a bunch of information about the add-on. And we're gonna find this right here where it says download. Go over to this box, highlight that, Command C to copy that. We're then gonna drop out of Safari and go back here to Anki where we're at our install add-on page. Click into the code, command V to paste that code and hit OK. Once you've done this, Anki is going to add image occlusion or the option to use that into your Anki. So if you're doing this for the first time, go ahead and add it and then close out of Anki and restart it and you'll be ready to go. Once you've done that, you can go in and create a deck like normal or you can add these cards to a deck that you already have. I will go ahead and just make an IO test deck just for the purpose of this video. So you'll see that pop up here. We're gonna click on our deck that we want to add our cards into. And then we're gonna hit A to start adding cards. So this right here is our add interface and this is where we're gonna add our cards. I'm gonna take my mouse, go up to this very top right corner and find this little icon that says add image occlusion. Click on that and it's gonna pull up a like a browser finder for your files in your computer. And this is where you're going to pick the image that you actually want to occlude. What I do is while I'm working through my lectures for dental school, I take screenshots of the important diagrams that I wanna actually use for cards. And what I have set on my computer is that they go straight to my desktop. So once all of these images are in my desktop, I can now find them very easily for image occlusion. So once I'm at this step, I will click the latest one and hit open. That's going to pull up the image occlusion interface. And once we're in here, we can kind of scroll over to the picture. And this is what we get to work with. Right here, I'm just using this as an example. This is the seven muscles of the extrinsic back. And this is a cool screenshot because there's a bunch of different things that I can do with image occlusion to kind of make cards from here. And this is a good time to actually explain what image occlusion is. Essentially what we do is we drag boxes over the words on the picture, on the diagram. And when we get cards to study, we have a box covering the word and we have to guess what's under that box. And I'll show you what that looks like when we actually go to study these cards. But to actually draw our boxes onto the image, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that this little icon is selected right here. And all we're gonna do is just start dragging boxes over the different words on our diagram. To make this a little bit quicker, once we have one of these boxes selected, we can hit D to duplicate it, S to select, click and drag. So then you can just hit D again, click drag, D again, and we'll resize this a little bit, D again. And just like that, we have the seven muscles of the extrinsic back covered up and they have pointers, of course, these arrows going to the picture of the muscle. And once again, you'll see how this works when we actually study it, but let's say we wanted to use this as our cards that we wanna study. Now we have to go down here and select one of these two options. At first I was a little bit confused by what these mean, but essentially hide all guess one is going to show you all of these boxes and one of them is gonna be a different color. The one that's the different color is obviously what the card is asking you about. So let's say it's this one right here that I was, I was just, uh, that I have selected. If this card was red, for example, I would not be able to see any of these other muscles. I would just see that I have to answer this 
and I would know that this is the serratus posterior superior. If you select this other option, which is hide one, guess one, none of the other boxes are gonna be there. You're just going to have one box over the muscle that you're being asked about. And when you're making your cards, you'll kind of decide which one of these options you wanna select, but I usually opt for hide all, guess one, because if you don't, then you have all these other context clues. So let's say you remembered you were in the superficial group and you remembered four, but you couldn't remember the fifth. Well, seeing those four is probably gonna help you to remember the fifth. Whereas if you cover all of them, you're probably going to challenge yourself a bit more, which of course leads to better comprehension and understanding. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna do what I would typically do here and hit hide all, guess one. You'll see down here that we have seven cards added. And if we X out of this little thing here and X out again, you'll see in our new deck that we have seven new cards to study. So if we study them real quickly, you'll see what I was talking about. This is asking us to identify what this muscle right here is. It's of course showing us a red box over the answer. And it's also covering all the other muscles that we selected so that they don't give us context clues. And that's kind of the power of hide all guess one. We do know, of course, that this is the serratus posterior inferior muscle. And if we hit the space bar, we will unveil that answer. We can then decide what we want to do with the card. If we did it, if we got it right immediately, we can hit good. If we didn't, we can hit again. And that's just how you study in Anki. But I want to show you another thing that I will do with this particular screenshot really quickly, going back to decks, going to IO test deck, hitting A, going back to image occlusion and grabbing the same image. So I've already made my seven cards to show the seven muscles of the extrinsic back, but let's say I wanted to remember what portion of the back this was. Is it extrinsic or is it in intrinsic? Well, I could simply show this image here and then drag a box over extrinsic. I could then hide all guess one. And that card that I just made is going to test me on which portion of the back this is. So then by using the knowledge of what muscles are in this portion of the back, I can think, okay, all of these muscles, these seven muscles are pretty superficial. That's going to be the extrinsic back. And that's just another way to add on to your studying. So get creative with the way that you're creating cards with each individual image. I mean, you can do it again here with groups. If you want to do superficial group and intermediate group. And then of course, we're going to hit S click delete and you can you can add these cards here just to give you some further coverage into you know what all is covered on this picture guys that's really it for this tutorial that shows you how to use image occlusion for anatomy but you can do it for literally anything else anytime you take a screenshot of something you could put it into image occlusion and put boxes over the things that you're trying to answer and it just makes studying these concepts so much easier because you have a visual image to look at instead of just a bunch of words, which for me is super helpful. But because I like each and every one of you, I wanna give you a little bit of a bonus to this video, and that is to show you something else that I use along with Anki to study for gross anatomy. And that is Complete Anatomy here, which this is a paid app. We get it for free with school here at my dental school at UTHSC. So this was something that was quite a blessing for me to get because I think it's usually pretty expensive. But Complete Anatomy is an amazing platform that really can show you a lot of 3D images and details of everything on the body. And I often pair Complete Anatomy with image occlusion in Anki and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So right now I'm studying the upper limb. So I'm gonna go into the Atlas here, go to models, and then I can pretty much select whatever I want here. I'll just select full body. And then if I go back down to models, I can isolate which portion of the body I want to look at. So let's look at the left upper limb. And that's what we have right here. We can, of course, move it around. We can do all sorts of things. I'm going to go down here to muscular and I'm going to start adding layers of muscles now. The portion that I want to focus on for this particular exercise is the posterior forearm, which is right here. And I want to focus on the four deep muscles of this area. So we see the first one right here. I'm going to add a little bit more musculature. Now I see the second one that I want. Adding a little bit more, I see these two others that I want. So I can zoom in a little bit. And these are the four muscles that I want to look at. So if I was trying to figure out what each of these are, there are pl plenty of context clues that I can use to guess them. But the way that I'm gonna use Anki is to go over here, hit tools, hit labels, and now I can select whatever structure I want to put a label onto. So I'll select here, this is the extensor indices. 
and you can see that it puts a label onto the muscle. I'll then select this one, this one, and this one. And you can play with these labels and move them around. I'll put the abductor pollicis longus up there and then the three extensor muscles over here to signify that they have like slightly different names, but you can do this however you want, depending on what you're studying. And now I can just hit done and you'll see that this beautiful image that I've created here is usable. I can hit shift command four and that's going to in Mac give me the ability to screenshot. I can do this screenshot like that. That's going to go to my desktop. I can now go back to my IO test spec, hit A, go back up to image occlusion, grab this new screenshot, and then I can simply click and drag over my muscle names. I'm gonna hide all guess one, of course. And now when I go back to study, you will see this beautiful image of these four deep muscles of the posterior forearm, and I get to actually go in and learn these muscles. So ladies and gentlemen, that is everything that I have for you today. That is a overview of how I use image occlusion, and it's a really powerful add-on that I think if you're studying any science, you should probably have. I used it a ton for biochemistry. I'm using it a ton for gross anatomy, and physiology and all the other things I'm doing this semester. It's just really, really helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to do tutorials about Anki and, and studying and all the things that I'm doing here, as well as just show you what my life is like as a dental student. And if you're interested in any more of that, subscribing is the best way to see it. Also comment down below and let me know how you use Anki and maybe what you want to see from me tutorial wise, if it's an add on or you know anything else about Anki, I can do it in the future. I will say another feature that I really like using in Anki is frozen fields. So maybe that is a video coming in the near future. So that is it for me today. I appreciate each of you for watching. Good luck on your studying, best of luck using Anki. And I hope that this tutorial and some of the others that I've put out and will put out help you so much in the future. All right, I've said enough. <laughs> I appreciate you all and I'll see you next time. Oh gosh. Outros are tough. They are really, really tough. They might even be tougher than gross anatomy. No, probably not.